Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be doing a best and worst of the Kamado Joe ceramic grill. There are a good bit of Kamado style grills on the market, so I'm gonna start off with the best of what sold me specifically on the Kamado Joe. So I'll start here at the top. Um, this control vent, one of the reasons that I went with the Kamado Joe is that when you open this grill, the vent will stay in place. What I've seen in my research is that other grills, when you open the grill, the vent can shift and move. So that was one of the selling points for the Kamado Joe. Another selling point um, was this latch that keeps it closed. So the latch um, keeps it nice and tight to keep a good seal all the way around. Also, the gasket on this Kamado grill is different from others. Others use a felt gasket. This uses a wire mesh and fiberglass gasket. I haven't had the grill very long, but supposedly it should be more durable and it should hold up longer. Another huge selling point to this one was the type of hinge mechanism on the back that really makes opening and closing this grill quite easy. Usually the weight of the lid can be a drawback to a ceramic grill because it can be so heavy, but with this hinge mechanism in the back, it is incredibly light. Another thing that drew me to the Kamado Joe was their firebox. Their firebox used to be solid ceramic and now they've moved to pieces more like puzzle pieces. In this model, there's six of them. In the research that I've done online, it seems that a lot of people have issues over time with their fireboxes cracking. So I was thinking if it's in multiple pieces and only one piece cracks, then it would be cheaper for me to replace instead of the whole firebox. I could just replace the one specific piece that cracked. Other grills on the market also don't come with an ability to easily clean out the ashes. This one has a tray that you'll pull out that catches the ashes, so it makes cleaning out the ashes much simpler. Another huge draw is that the Kamado Joe comes with its divide and conquer flexible cooking system. It's gonna come um, with two uh, deflector plates that are made out of ceramic. That was a huge plus to me because on other grills, you actually have to buy the ceramic or the stone separate if you wanna do low and slow cooks. And this one, it came with it. They also have the option for a firebox divider, um, which is nice if you only wanna use half of the grill or do something like that. It used to screw to the firebox grate um, now it just sets in. One of the other pluses is with the side tables. These side tables are actually made out of a plastic, um, but they, they will be more durable. This front handle is also made of that, out of that plastic as well, and supposedly it holds up well um, to the weather as well as the sunlight. There's two last things about this grill that I love um, that's not really specific to the Kamado Joe, but just ceramic grills in general. This thing holds heat really, really well. Once it gets hot, and all that ceramic is hot. It does a really good job of holding temperature. I've done three smokes so far. I had no issues at all with it holding temperature. I even started one in the evening, let it go all night, came back out, and it was a solid 225 degrees still. It was incredible. So the ceramic does a great job of holding that heat, not using a lot of charcoal. The other thing with this grill is it can get incredibly hot without trying very hard. I just opened the bottom vent and the top vent all the way and let it go for 15, 20 minutes, came back and it was about 850 degrees. It was incredibly hot. So that'd be great for searing some steaks. I will say about starting the charcoal, you do need to be careful. You're definitely not supposed to use any liquid starters. They sell, Kamado Joe does and other people, some fire starters that you put into the charcoal, which could work fine. I've actually found that the most cost effective and quickest way to start charcoal is just with a, a heat gun. I picked one up from Harbor Freight. Um, we've got a video that you can check out um, comparing a heat gun with a loof lighter and then also a chimney as well. And I think you'll be pretty surprised to see how that uh, little heat gun holds up. Okay, so those were some of the things that we liked and the reasons that we chose the Kamado Joe, some of the best reasons that we chose it. Now let's go and look at some of the worst things about the Kamado Joe specifically and just ceramic Kamado style grills in general. And the first thing being the weight. They are extremely heavy and fragile. 
So this grill is the Big Joe and it weighs about 250 pounds. Thankfully, I had some friends help me uh, transport it and then unload it. Tip it! Tip it! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Yeah, it's heavy. So that 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 is a, a massive downside and the fact that it's fragile. If this thing, it would not survive if it fell over. Being made out of ceramic, that's just kind of the nature of the beast. Um, so you just need to be careful with it in transportation. Um, and when it's out, a lot of people mount them in tables, which I think is great. That's probably a really safe place to have them. Um, this base seems to be nice and wide, so I don't think I'm gonna have any issues with it toppling over. But as far as something impacting it really hard, it does make me a little nervous. I will say that Kamado Joe does package their grills incredibly well. I bought the display model, but if you don't, um, then they come in a cardboard and wooden crate and they're packaged very well. So I don't think you'll have any issues as long as you keep it in that crate, getting it home and then assembling it. I alluded to this earlier in one of the pros about the firebox being in these multiple puzzle pieces, but that just seems to be in my research, what I've seen online is people have issues with their fireboxes cracking over time. Um, it doesn't seem to be an issue of something that happens quickly, but it might be something with the, you know, getting really hot and cooling down and doing that hundreds of cycles. Um, so that is a drawback that your firebox can crack. Here's something that I definitely learned the hard way, overshooting your temperature. This ceramic grill holds temperature very, very well, and that ceramic just kind of radiates that heat. If you happen to overshoot your temp and let it sit there for a while, that ceramic's gonna get very hot and it's gonna stay at that temperature for a while. It takes the grill an incredibly long time to cool down. When I did that test to get it up to 850 degrees, it took it several hours to get down to where I could even just touch the grill and get the things inside with my hands. And finally, the worst thing about the Kamado Joe and other ceramic Kamado style grills in general is just the price of them. They are not cheap cheap. They're not cheap and they're fragile. This Big Joe with the tables and the cart and everything comes in right around $1,900. I think it's the best price that I've seen online with free shipping and no tax. Um, their smaller version, the Classic, uh, comes in around $1,200. There is a way to do better than that. You can check out um, this video above, the Costco Roadshow. You can save a bunch of money if you're willing to do that. So check that video out um, with some tips. It's still very expensive. Um, that's by far the worst part of the grill. It does have a lot of pros, um, but the price is very high. Hopefully this video was helpful for you in doing some research into Kamado style grills and specifically the Kamado Joe. We hope that you go out and pick one up. Thanks so much for watching Break It Yourself. Don't forget to thumbs me up and we'll see you next time.